Australia has a new Prime Minister, Tony Abbott, the British-born centre-right politician. From today, I declare that Australia is under new management and that Australia is once more open for business. Tony Abbott has had a tendency to put his foot in it, but after his speech, that role was taken on by an over-enthusiastic supporter. Indeed, Mr Abbott has made few mistakes in wrestling power from former Prime Minister Kevin Rudd. It is so wonderful to have Tony Abbott as our Prime Minister. I can't begin to express how happy I am. Sorry, but this has been many years in the making. I think he's going to be a Prime Minister with integrity and we know we can trust him and he'll uh, lead this country well. I think he basically provided very clear stability, some pretty clear vision and um, something that Australians could believe in, some real change. Voting is compulsory in Australia. Many went to the polling booths straight from the beach. Tony Abbott may have won, but there's no sense here of huge enthusiasm for him. Shame, Abbott, shame! Shame, Abbott, shame! Protesters heckled him at a Sydney polling station, angry about his tough stance on asylum seekers. Others asked questions about his attitude towards women. Tony Abbott's biggest appeal is that he isn't Kevin Rudd. He had only been Prime Minister for a few weeks after ousting Julia Gillard. Internal bickering that ultimately cost his Labour Party the election. I know that Labour hearts are heavy across the nation tonight. And as your Prime Minister and as your parliamentary leader of the great Australian Labour Party, I accept responsibility. I gave it my all. But it was not enough for us to win. Tony Abbott is known for his endurance swims and his long distance running. He'll need to be in top physical form to be able to deal with voters' concerns and get many of them to warm to him. Scrapping an unpopular carbon tax and dealing with Australia's slowing economy will be at the top of the list. Maybe then the public will truly start to believe in him. Jonathan Samuels, Sky News, Sydney.